Hey guys, it is Faith. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the clean girl aesthetic. Now, I feel like it's another aesthetic that is another TikTok trend, Pinterest inspired. A year ago, it was all about the that girl lifestyle, you know, working out, staying hydrated, eating healthy, this and that. And now it's kind of transforming to a clean girl aesthetic where it's kind of more a simplistic, neutral, minimal, clean style. So my personal take on it is the clean girl is a look. There are some key details to achieve the clean girl look. You know, have a certain makeup routine, certain style. And I feel like the that girl trend is more of a lifestyle. You know, you're living a healthy lifestyle, you're working out consistently, you're productive, and you're overall being the best version of yourself. So I feel like this is more like appearance-wise of a trend. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to achieve that look. So let's get started. I have recently discovered a perfect glowy makeup routine. I think it suits well with the clean girl aesthetic. So I'm gonna show you guys this. First thing I do is I'm going in with my favorite concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Fair. And I'm going to go on all of the biggest breakouts I have. I also have some scarring, so I'm just gonna go through and conceal those up. I noticed that when I put on concealer, I not only like blend the spot that I'm trying to conceal, but also around it. This time I'm going to try to focus on the actual breakout so it has like the most amount of coverage. So here's the secret. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this Becca Light Shifter Dewy Tint. Now I know that Becca's not in business anymore, so I highly recommend seeking out a dewy skin tint or a tinted moisturizer with some luminizing built in. Um, this is in the shade Luminary One. Like that's literally it. And I'm only gonna do a little bit on the forehead because I don't want my forehead to be like a disco ball. And look at that glow. Okay, and then really quickly, I'm gonna go in with the concealer. I'm gonna put a little bit under my eyes like the tiniest bit because I don't want my under eyes to be creasing. And then immediately after that, I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I'm going to put like the tiniest bit under my eyes and only under my eyes. Actually, that's a lie. I'm gonna be putting it a little bit on my nose too. So now that the base of the face makeup is done, I'm gonna go ahead and put on bronzer and blush. If you guys haven't seen my everyday makeup routines before, I talk about my go-to products a lot. Um, this is by Tarte, Park Avenue Princess. And then I'm gonna go in with my favorite blush, Tarte Amazonian Clay. Party. And just because we put on a luminizing skin tint does not mean we skip the highlighter. So I'm gonna go in with my favorite highlighter. The luminizer caught above the cheekbone, so I'm gonna accentuate that. I'm gonna put a little bit on the chin. Also above my lip, the tip of my nose under my brows and look at that amazing glow. I feel like that's what clean girl makeup is, is very natural, but also very glowy. Maybe you've been out in the sun for a little bit. For brows, I feel like the perfect clean girl look is like more of like a fluffy brow, very effortless, very natural. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brow and it is like a tinted brow gel. I'm gonna be very careful with this product because it's super, super pigmented. So I'm just gonna lightly brush through my brows because if I go any like crazier, that's like super dark already. And then I'm gonna go with this um, ABH clear brow gel. And this is like my secret ingredient right here. I'm going to comb my brows up. And then I kind of like go through with like a little spoolie and kind of shape like the tail end of the brow a little bit more, just so it has some structure to it. One of the last steps is mascara. I'm going for length today. This is a beauty counter mascara, and that is the makeup look. Super natural, super glowy. I'm obsessed. Okay, let's maintain this hair because it's a little wild right now. My favorite clean girl hair look is like the slick back bun. I feel like that's like a total go-to move. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to basically put my hair behind my ears 
like so. And all I'm really gonna do is I'm gonna take my hair tie and I'm going to wrap it around once, like I'm doing a ponytail. And then the second time around, I'm going to put my hair like in a loop. So like the ends of my hair are kind of like poking out a little bit. I'm going to cross over. So now they're like this loop as a ponytail and I'm gonna close it up by doing it again like halfway, just like so. And then if you wanted to get a little crazy, you can take a straightener and straighten the ends if you want. But like, that's like my basic, like slick back, low bun look. Sometimes it looks a little looser or like messier. Sometimes it looks a little tighter. This actually looks pretty good. And I feel like the main factor is as long as like the front looks like slick back and good, then you're golden. Like, I like that like my natural hair is a little bit wavy. So when I bring out the couple strands, it's like a little wavy as well, but it's super, super simple. Another look that I like to do is the claw clips. For my hair, I like to use a bigger claw clip. So I actually got these on Amazon. There's like a ton of different colors. But it grabs a lot of hair and it's longer, which I want. I have these like short little ones, but I don't really use them because they don't hold like all of my hair. So I'm going to take my hair and all I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap my hair around my hand once like so and I'm just going to start twisting as much as I can until I get to this point so I have a little bit of my ends sticking out I'm gonna bring my ends up to kind of look like I have some hair sticking out and I can like tuck those in together so it looks just like this and all I'm gonna do is take my clip and I'm going to clip it like so and then at this point you can like loosen it up a little bit. I like to have mine a little bit more messier. But this is my go-to hairstyle in the past months and I absolutely love it because even if I have my hair straight, I can wrap it up in this little claw clip. And after a few hours when I take it down, it has like a little slight wave, which I like. This hairstyle probably has been around forever, but that's how I do my claw clip hairstyles. Hopefully I explained it right. I'm not the best with explaining things, especially with like hair stuff. But usually you would wear like a hair mask and you would put it up in a bun or a claw clip and go to Target and have coffee. That's like the vibe that we're going for. So um, looking clean, put together, hair's up, not really in the way we love. Okay, so now let's move on to the outfit. And yes, I have my coffee with me. It's coffee time. So I feel like the clean girl look is more simplistic. There's a lot of basic pieces, um, more neutral tones. So that is right up my alley. I love a neutral wardrobe. So I mean, this is very easy for me to achieve. So I'm going to show you guys my favorite like basic go-to look. So I'm first starting out with a white t-shirt that I got from Target. A nice white ribbed basic t-shirt. I like that the neckline is a little bit higher than usual. Personally, I don't like Target like v-necks. They're just way too low on me. So I feel like this flatters me very well. It's from the A New Day collection. And then my jeans are from Levi's. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know these are my favorite pair of jeans. They're the 501 skinny jeans and they are just amazing. No complaints there. But the main thing is I wanted to accessorize a little bit. And that's kind of what I've noticed with the clean girl look is there are some jewelry involved. So I wore a couple gold inspired necklaces. There are two different kinds of chains. I think they're really cute together. And then I paired it with one of my favorite rings, the Missouri Croissant Dome Ring. I just put that on my index finger and then a couple other rings that I got from Amazon. But it's definitely a clean girl look and it has all of the elements put together. Now, I feel like if you get anything from this video, the number one thing is it's all about the nails. You can have a nice like basic outfit but your nails have to be basic as well. So I have two of my favorite nail polishes right here. These are by OPI. This one is in the shade Bubble Bath. I'm currently wearing it on my nails right now. It's like the perfect like milky pink color. It has a little bit of like brown in it, but it's super neutral and super pretty. It matches my skin tone so, so well. Definitely one of my favorite nail polishes of all time. And then my favorite white right now is Funny Bunny by OPI. I'm sure you have heard of these shades 
everywhere on TikTok and on social media, but this is like my favorite milky white color. It's very easy to build up to more pigment or if you want a more sheer look, you can go for that. But these two products are like staples if you want to achieve the clean girl look. So of course, I'll link everything that I use down below in case you guys are interested. But definitely the nail polishes I feel like is like top tier. I feel like that and like the, the makeup look, those are like the two things that are like key. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below what your take on the clean girl aesthetic is like. Do you prefer this aesthetic more than the that girl aesthetic? Let me know down in the comments below. But with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video really soon. Bye.